Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your Windows 7 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so when you get this uh, blue screen of death, you'll get it intermittently on your machine. So you'll just be working um, and then it'll just randomly keep crashing to this screen. Uh, we can see here that this file here, tcpip.sys, is what's causing the crash. I know that that is a networking um, file so what we need to do is first of all we need to uh, check the driver for the network so if you click on the start menu type in device manager and then just left click on the device manager application and then under network adapter you need to look for um, your network card so we can see here my network card is an Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop adapter so what we need to do is we need to head over to the Intel website and if you just download the latest uh, newest driver and then come back here just do right click and update driver software and then if you do browse my computer software and then if you just browse to where you downloaded the updated drivers uh, then just click on next next and finish that will then install the latest drivers for that network card so just repeat that process if you've got um, Wi-Fi on there as well just repeat that for that um, adapter as well after you've done that reboot your machine if you're still getting the crashes it could be because there's a corrupt file on your system so if you open up File Explorer, click on Computer, right click on the C drive and go to Properties, go to Tools, and then under Error Check-in, click on Check Now, tick both the boxes, click Start. Uh, it's not going to be able to do a check disk now. Um, what you can do is if you do Schedule Check Disk and then OK, if you then restart your machine it will then re, um, do a check disk on the next uh, reboot so what that's going to do is going to check your C drive for any corrupted files if it finds any it will automatically fix them um, so after that if you're still getting the blue screens what you can do is there's actually um, a hot fix from Microsoft that fixes this specific problem so if you just click on download hotfix uh, install that in your system and then that will sort out the problem as well I'll also place this link in the description of the video if you need to visit that page to download the hotfix okay if you have any questions on this please post it in the comment below and I'll help you out if you need it but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video